Um. Hmm. Water. <laughs> so this house is a lot better looking than I remembered it. I don't know why I remembered it not being so good. I remember the interior, yeah. So we had gotten to the second floor. We had the guest bedroom, essentially. The living room. God, this house came out really good so far. <laughs> like how, looking at my stuff a few days after the fact, I have a totally different opinion of it than beforehand. It's it's looking fantastic. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we need a wallpaper for these bedrooms. I am going to take... No, not that. I'm going to take this wallpaper and I'm throwing it up here. Um, we're going to change this wallpaper. So for lighting in this room, <clears throat> I honestly don't know what to do, but I need some light here right now. So we're going to throw that in. Um, the house is feeling old. Er. So I don't mind trying to keep the wallpaper idea. But at the same time, it bet the wool. Oh god. Oh no. It's a cute pattern, but I don't know if I'd want it for a wall. Race cars. No, lighthouses definitely not too big. Oh god, no. No. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this wallpaper and throw it up here. How very EA of you. <laughs> I, <w> <clears throat> I meant mean, I was taking the basics of it. I'm trying to change out the wallpaper. God, why? I swear to God, this freaking weather. It's like one second. I'm perfectly fine with like no congestion. Out of nowhere, I have con I'm congested. <clears throat> I took a uh, decongestant just in case. <clears throat> Our weather has been going crazy. We, we've been going from freezing temperatures at night to like 40s and 50s in the day. It's fucking weird. It snowed the night before last. And we woke up and the snow was already melting and it was raining. Which was helping the snow to like melt even further. Um, ew. I'm just going through these because I've never really gone through these. <clears throat> Starting to see why. <clears throat> I wonder if... No, no, no. Like sepia tones, I'm trying to do. It's hideous. <clears throat> the more I do it, the more I can see it. All right. Geometric. Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> I'm just dizzy being in that room. Um. Eh. It's not that bad. I mean, <clears throat> it's very similar to the rest of the house. I don't know if I like it being green. What if I did a blue? I don't want to do a yellow because it's just, it's a bedroom, so. You could always do that. 
take that and do the EA thing as per Dwin and just stick it over here. <laughs> stick it over here. <clears throat> All right. Second floor is mostly just a hallway to walk through. Bedroom. What do we determine? This was the master bedroom. These were two side bedrooms. So master bedroom. Um, what have we been doing with wall sconces? It's been these guys. Um... I feel like if I do that... <laughs> If I leave it like that, this entire section's just gonna... Oh, God. If I put a dresser or something over here... <clears throat> I can get this room lit. Get this room lit. Ha! Ah! Um... E. <clears throat> It's a little big. I mean, I kind of like this one, but do I have like one with just bedposts? Yeah, I do. I have that one. Which we could say they got with the same stuff as this one. Here. I kind of want to change the blanket, but can I change the rose on the back? Or is that rose always, is that rose is always like that? All right. So that bed cover. Red? I'm gonna have a hard time figuring out the bed cover here, aren't I? <clears throat> you know what? Can I make it like a quilt? <laughs> I think there is a quilt fabric in here that we saw. This one. Ugh. God, what the hell? Here. It's a little extra, but it's fine. Dresser. <clears throat> we do not need that same dresser. I kind of want something a slightly different. This works, actually. And then side tables. Did I ever put side tables in? Just in one spot. God damn it. Um, I don't want to use those because it would stand out a little bit too much. What if I do this one? Problem is there's like a toy in it. Dang it. This one works. Can I change the color of the knob? No. Can I change the color of this knob? No. Damn it. The fixture's not matching bugged me. <clears throat> like it shouldn't. It should just be all like, just deal with it. 
But I'm not. Kind of surprised there's no matching side tables to this one. Alright, what if I can get a different dresser? Fuck it. Let's make matchy matchy. God, it's gonna make me throw up on the inside if I do all those roses. <laughs> Fucking hell. No. Um. Not against the wardrobe if I can get that. Be all wood. Let me see. I don't like the handles. I don't think I've ever been this picky about the the dressers. All right, let's put this one back in. Go back to the side tables. Beautiful. So beautiful. Stop it. It's Trey Gorgeous. Alright. As per as I've done beforehand in order to make my life easier. <clears throat> now that's a properly lit room. Now the other thing that I ended up finding out that I had mentioned last time was I need a window for those rooms. So I think we're going to do this guy. Like that. And then... I don't want the same curtains. I mean, I'm probably going to get the same curtains, but... Here. Might as well. Instead of just searching for forever for curtains. I need to change them. Get rid of the flower pattern. And let's do... Make it a pink. Give it a different color. So make the edges a slightly darker pink, maybe? No, what am I doing? Hold on. Ow. Hey. like this needs to be lighter. Maybe like that. Maybe we'll just do white. Because you have pink from the flowers that's on the bed. That's what I'm thinking of. <clears throat> it looks not bad. Question is, do I want a big rug in here? It would look fantastic with a rug in here. Huh. 
<laughs> this fucking ugly ass roses. Um, maybe if it was a lighter scale shade. Oh, I kind of like that. Um, no, go back. How do I make these a little bit deeper so they're a little... No, you can't. It's like an extra color. Um, the edging, I'm going to change to a different type. Probably this. Or that, that. And we'll sit there and we'll say like... I mean... It's a little, like it doesn't stand out a whole lot, it's just bumming me a little, but I kind of like it. I do kind of like that. Okay. <clears throat> I think that'll round out that room. Um, bathroom is easy enough to do, because for the most part we're just copying everything. Because it makes our life super easy. I think I'm going to put the toilet here. And I think instead of having... Here, we'll do... God damn it. If I put the toilet there, it might give it more room. Um... <clears throat> So, of course, I'm thinking of the shower-tub combo because it's a favorite of mine. I used to love this one, and I say it every single time. I don't like it because of the curve and the tile right there. It's fucking... If it didn't have those that curve, it would be so much better. Um, I kind of like that frosted glass, especially for this place. Um... what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to this tile, we're gonna put this on the back. Go make food warmer. We're having a chill morning stream before we get into anything else, and I just had my first sip of coffee. All right. The... Like, I don't really want to make it... Like, that blue. That. It's kind of perfect, in a way, because it's just... It's barely there. Uh, at the same time, it doesn't look as good as, like, this blue. This blue at least matches the wallpaper. God help you if you ever decide to redo your bathroom after having matchy matchy wallpaper like this. Oh my god. I think if I do this, it covers, yeah, the entire tub. Imagine sliding your ass cheeks across the tile. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right so i was initially thinking counter display of some sort here we can put this up here Their life is a lot easier if we just sit here and just carbon copy a lot of this stuff. Um, actual counters. 
use these a lot in the bathroom. Honestly, these make a lot more sense because <laughs> I can't. But, uh... This house is supposed to have an older look to it. Actually, that works. Let's do that. What we'll do is we'll do... Paint. We get the... Not that part. This part. Where did the cracked part go? There it is. It doesn't look right. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely doesn't look right. Here, let's do something like this. We'll do a gray. Uh, no, there. Um, I think we'll do gray. one part but then what we'll do is we will take this blue and we'll put it elsewhere like on this part or this part <clears throat> get a nice appropriate sink Gonna steal the uh oh this part. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna make the base of this white. That's fine. That's better. Okay. Um, I know it's a little awkward in its overall design, but it's fine. It'll work. Can I make this into a wicker? Weave and wicker. <gasps> Can. Doesn't look half bad. Let's do that. They're fake. They're made out of plastic. And then they're like spray scented. So like you have this fake plastic, probably slightly dusty, but when you get close to it, it smells like dust and roses. Even though that's not what these flowers are supposed to smell like. But that's what they smell like. <laughs> Come here. Go there. There you go. Can I put it here? No, it's fine there. And then the, the some of the dust is like slightly muddied in the backside because the wa if anyone uses the towel too much. It just drips once or twice on it, and so you got these weird little spots that just don't properly clean out. So they just shifted the basket around so you can't see it because the house is that old. Um, <laughs> horrible. Look, it's the bathroom. Oh my god. Um... Can I move this? Is 
there. Because I'm trying to copy this for the most part up here. There, we could do that. Do that, do that. I mean, yeah, it's a little cheesy to constantly copy it, but when I'm building like a shit ton of houses, as I have been, sometimes the easiest way is once I've done one bathroom design, taking that design and just repeating it over and over and over works very well. Um... Come on, it's not moving. Uh, game's in a frozen state at the moment. Give it a sec. There we go. Oh, it's having problems. All right, back to edit town. We're saving real quick. I don't want to spend forever on this since I started late. But I would like some semblance of finishing out this house as much as possible. Um, I did put more sims in the town yesterday afternoon. And I have to do... I, I've done this next census. Normally I do it on the 28th of, each, 28th of each month. But depending on the month, depending on what's going on. And considering the 28th was in between all the holiday sh shenanigans this year. Um... I didn't get to doing the census until yesterday. But I managed to do the census, and I have a list of sims that need to go into the town and things I need to do. So, the last two months, I've always been a little bit behind in getting the sims in. It's driving me nuts, but um, I'm almost, almost up to date 100% again. And it's so much nicer when I'm up to date on it. Here, we'll do it there. That way it doesn't become a pee rug. <laughs> the pee rug. <laughs> the one toilet paper fixture in The Sims. I mean, you don't really need another one, but... Um, here. So, the windows. Because I completely forgot about windows. We're gonna do it like that. Hopefully it doesn't look weird on the outside. It does not. It actually is perfectly spaced. Sweet. I'm totally fine with that. Um, I like how this patio runs all the entire length, but it's nothing here. <laughs> it's just, just dead empty space. <laughs> I mean, I could technically move the dresser over here. Oh god, that looks horrible. I was all like, I could move the dresser over there and put another door there, but... Mm, whatever. It's a feature. <laughs> What's wrong with this house? I don't know, but it's a feature. <laughs> so, um, you know what we need? We need more artwork in this house. We need more just... Decorative shit. Um. No. Like, nothing here really says anything about the residence. And I'm not necessarily against that. I mean, considering that everything is the way it is right now. Uh. Welcome back, Wolver. What have I built? Two bathrooms and a bedroom. Uh, okay, we're going to change up what's on the front because I keep forgetting you could do that with these. We're going to turn it into chair strawberries. <laughs> Strawberries. Can we, um, just use the stone coloring? Thank you. That way it looks a little bit more like earthenware and a little less like. Whatever. Here. 
be that color. This can be like that weird ass brown. Here, you could be. That color and here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn this top into wood. I've never played around with these all that much. It looks like it belongs in this kitchen. It's beautiful. All right. God damn it. God damn it, game. Game is having so many issues functioning. <laughs> Saving again. But like I said, I don't want to spend forever on this. I want to move into playing Star Wars sooner rather than later. I've started replaying Jedi Fallen Order on the side on my own. Because other than the one time I streamed it just to show the beginning. Mostly with Izzik. Because if I remember correctly, I played it to have Izzik try it. And he was so unenamored with it. I have no idea why. <laughs> Probably because it was Star Wars. Had it been any other IP with the same gameplay, he probably would have been all on it. But anyways. I have been... Um, playing more of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and my lightsaber is a baseball bat, the game. Because um, <laughs> uh, I still haven't beaten it. Um, I'm really enjoying playing it again. It's... I forgot how much I like that game. Do I want to just stick bunk beds in here? I have so much room, we do not need just bunk beds. Um... But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty far into it. And, of course, just as I was getting further into the story and I was thinking, wow, I might actually beat this, I went back on the ship and the pilot makes one comment about a planet I never 100%ed. And I immediately had a dilly moment. I was all like, I need to 100% that planet. <laughs> and I instantly went back there and then spent something like an hour and a half, two hours running around because I got myself lost. And I still haven't 100%ed it. Honestly, I'm not going to 100% it, but... Um, I definitely had that put in all the bunk beds. Dear God, do we need more bunk beds? Oh my God, look how well it works in this room, though. <laughs> but the bunk beds of this room. Can you imagine these windows in this room? How do these people function? They don't even have, like, they just giant wide ass open windows. Hold on. At least if I put these up. I like how we get no light in here suddenly. Actually, that's better. Here, we'll do that. I need light in here. Oh, no. They just want to flaunt their stuff on display. <laughs> just, they just flaunt what they have. Make this into a frat dorm for the college that isn't in the town. So originally this town was supposed to have had a college. Um, the place where the museum went, um, the creator of the town had uh, placed a college there initially. 
but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I bet I could fit three beds in here. Three beds in here. Because remember, we can only have family homes up to eight, and this is a large enough home we could fit eight Sims here. Okay. I am going to do what I swore I wasn't going to do, and I'm actually going to change the wall in here. Because I want this room to be a little bit... Oh god. Put this here. Put this here. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is because we have so much of a pattern on the wall, we're gonna do fabrics. Do something more like this. Oh, like that one, that one. Olive green. Yes, Blondie, thank you for the resub. 13 months lucky resub. Congratulations, thank you for the resub. That's really sweet. Uh, we're gonna do that, and then I think I have to carry it down here for it to pick up. Now, I kind of almost wanna make part of this darker. Like that. Sweet, all right. I don't know if I want this bed here. I don't know if I want the bunk bed yet again. But, <laughs> same time. You know what? Let's do one bunk bed and one regular bed. There's one lucky person that lives in this room that gets a regular bed. <laughs> oh god, Tiger's on the floor again. He's rubbing. He's a putters. I love putters. So while I was on the phone earlier with the uh, trash company trying to find out what I needed to do to get us at the replacement recycling bin. Tiger sauntered into the room, promptly uh, started climbing into my lap without any, like, just didn't question anything. He just started climbing, and I'm all like, what the hell, Tiger? Um, <laughs> promptly sat his fat ass in my lap and then just started purring. <laughs> I had a Twigger for a while. And then once he got his fill, his quota of love for the day, he sauntered off. He just jumped down and walked away. No, no, no anything, nothing, just walked away. Because that's a putters. If I put this over here, like this, I mean, at least the room would have here. Me this. Uh, 
Um, so there's two things I can end up doing in here. One, I can get a desk in here. Two, definitely put this in here. Is there no other single? It's just this one. We are merely weird furniture in cats' lives, <laughs> yet we're all accepting of this readily. I mean, yes. <laughs> Bodhi is in the room with Isaac right now. Um, he uh, didn't get his quilt to lie on last night because it must have been thrown off the bed by Isaac in his sleep. Honestly, the bedroom was a little warm. I woke up a few times with that. Um, but this morning when we woke up, he started moving the bed. He started moving the quilt onto the bed while Bodhi was just lying on it. Bodhi purlipped. You know, did his little trill. And uh, just watched as the quilt was being put onto the bed. He never got up off of the bed when it was being done. Um, he just sort of sat there while it was being done. Um, and then once it had been fully moved on, he just seemed very content. But, um, basically once Isaac started working, I noticed that Bodhi very quickly migrated into the quilt in that room. I say quilt, but it's a knitted blanket by his grandmother, Grammy. Um, because she knits a lot and... She gives us, uh, she takes all of her leftover yarn, and at the end of the year, she just knits a bunch of blankets together, and she just usually hands them to us. Um, and we now call them Bodhi blankets, because they do not stay for long. This duck seems appropriate in this room. <laughs> they do not, uh, they do not stay long with us anymore. Like, we have no control over the blankets and their usage. They are now Bodhi blankets. Um... I don't like the design in the middle. The rest of it isn't bad. not the best rug, but it works. Um, question is, do I want to try and fit a desk in here? E it would block the doorway and would cause problems. I mean, they could maneuver around it, but it would block the doorway. So maybe we just go without a desk? I mean, if I move furniture around, it probably could fit a desk in here. Like, if I put this back over here. And then we put a desk over here. That could work. I just don't like the overall... Layout, I guess. But we only have one desk in this house, and I feel like we can use a second one. What about the single loft bed? Can't you put a bed under that? Then I lose a bed spot. I had thought about that briefly. And not entertaining the thought just because I don't want to lose the spot for the bed. I can keep it like that. We don't need to do a whole lot with that. What did I use for this chair? I just used that chair down there. So we can have an actual computer chair in here. Which I know is a little awkward in some ways, but at the same time isn't. Even though it's got a rug underneath it. Oh my god. 
here, do that. Can I make one of this, like, black, black? Oh god, that's really dark. Here, we'll do that. And then this cushion. We'll just make black. Because why not? Did I put a computer down here? Yeah, I did. We're gonna take this lamp. I'm trying to refrain, if you haven't noticed, from putting too many... Um, plants around, because I use them so much. You have that single one you can replace in that room? I do. I like this setup a little bit more. It makes the room feel a bit more lived in. And they will actually use all of this space. So I think... Yeah, because this is all one tile right here. This whole space right here, the Sims can walk in and out freely. So a Sim can easily walk over here, get into the lower bunk, and they'll walk here and get into the upper bunk. Um, and they'll have full freedom of movement to the desk, to the dresser. This is actually one of the better laid out bedrooms at the moment. Are they living in the 70s with that PC? The 70s didn't have those PCs. The 70s didn't have home PCs, really. Um, are you asking if they're living in the 80s? Yes. If you look at this entire house, this house screams older. And sometimes I like giving The Sims the older one. Because honestly, with The Sims 3, these were still the common PCs that people were using at the time. And that's why they're in the game. Um, the flat screens were not widescreen. Which is why all the flat screens that you see for The Sims, like these ones. Ugh the wall down like this one is a four by three ratio and not a widescreen and even this one four by three not a widescreen because widescreens weren't typical at the time i don't even think we had widescreen monitors that were widely being distributed anywhere because we typically have the large tube monitors this is the monitors i owned for a long time and then i remember the one time i finally bought myself a flat screen and I remember thinking, I don't need this, and then I realized, oh, they're not that expensive anymore. Sims time capsule, basically. You really can take the Sims and you can see the time periods they were made in. Um, so we can easily fit three in here as well. And with this particular bedroom... Um, we're just going to do that. that we also get this in here this time with one of these dormitories no <laughs> sure as hell looks like it though <laughs> it's just it's just a home it's just a very large home <laughs> 
It is, oh my god, hold on, one, two, shit, I forgot about this bedroom down here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't have ten Sims living in here. Fuck. Guess what, this belongs to, like... Alright, let's keep it like that. What we'll do is we're gonna put a dresser over here instead. And then, as much as we love the bunk beds... Sims per household without modding the game or changing the files, I should say. I don't like doing more than eight because you can do an almost in limitless amount of Sims in a family. It causes problems with the game. Memory and whatnot. I don't want to get into that habit. So maximum number of Sims I'll put in any house is eight. You need one bed per Sim. Yeah, I know. Poor bunk beds. But the bedrooms are so big we don't need them. Um... So we have two, three, four, five, six. How's that? Now you get your bunk beds and we'll turn this into a fitness center. <clears throat> this will be like the modernized fitness center. So we'll put like the track lighting that we have in the kitchen in there. a home gym, yeah. This house was never meant to be this over the top. If I ever make another Sims home, which I guarantee we'll probably do at some point, I said last time, and Isaac even asked me to, it will be an 80s style home. Because I think an 80s style home would be fantastic. room has no light. <laughs> there's no light in this room. And then there's way too much in this one room. Alright. Entertainment. Fitness. I'm gonna need this. <coughs> We're gonna need this. We could put this out back. It's a little big. We could do this. Oh my God. <laughs> Just <get> this. <laughs> Hold on, there's too much light. Like this. 
Most modern room in the house. It doesn't fucking fit. <laughs> you want to work out in the dark so you can't see your fat jiggle. <laughs> oh my god. How does that look? I feel like the TV is a little bit much. <laughs> Just... Hold on, because the this needs that order. Oh shit! I just realized the problem with that. Hold on. The direction it's going doesn't fit. There. Now you need to take this color and apply it here. Are there fitness posters? Eh. Uh, no. Unfortunately not. I'd have to find some. My problem with trying to find things like fitness posters is people who've made customized content don't seem to think about the fact that The Sims World uses Simlish. And so there's none of the posters or anything should actually be identifiable or readable. But all the custom content out there, they make it actual English words. And it doesn't fit The Sim World. It looks cool when you're downloading it. Once you actually get it in, you compare it to other artwork and stuff. It just, it, it, it's glaringly bad. We have sports posters. I do know about those. We have this. Marsupial Mayhem wall poster by Go Team Go. We have this. We have this. Nah. <clears throat> we got that. I mean, we could always do it like this. <gasps> you need the little poster with a little cat hanging on a branch that says hanging there. I don't know why that doesn't exist in here. And I don't know why whenever I make that reference, half of everyone, whenever I sit there and say, oh, it's the hang in there cat, people, are, uh, people just don't ever seem to acknowledge what the hell I'm talking about. Or they don't seem to understand. How do you not know about the hang in there? Hang in there, kitty. And it's just the kitty that's just hanging on the branch. It's in every fucking cringy office. And every time I walk through an office environment, when I start a job or anything, if I see that poster, I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> it's like an iconic poster. It is. This works better. Um, yeah, I really wish there was a Sims hanging in there, Kitty. 
if I could find a way to mod these posters, I would do it. I haven't been able to find one. Um, but I would totally make a framed hang in there kitty poster for The Sims. I have the Simlish font, so it's possible for me to do it. We are a dying breed. That's sad. Okay. I'm not going to say this house is finished because it's not. This house needs a yard. <clears throat> and... Light dirt. Because I'm putting down mulch. Redwood mulch. Edging of said mulch. Feed the dirt. <clears throat> this needs a pool. You have to sleep sooner than two hours. Well, we'll be on to the next game before you even have that happen. But this this place needs a pool, and iconically, because it's so old. It needs to have a rectangular one. That's just open to the public because if you fall in and die, it's your own fault. I don't know. <laughs> well, if you fall in and die, it's your own goddamn fault. Question is, am I gonna try and just do pavement? Sidewalk. I'm aware that this is a grating noise for some people. Apparently some people like the noise. <laughs> Surprisingly. I, I personally am okay with it. It doesn't bother me too much, but I am aware it's it's a noise that grates on some people. In the past, I have shut it off. Only exposed train can be edited. Oh my god. Sounds like the death of the ozone. <laughs> I have muted the game before when I've done this. Um, I'm just trying to get to where we have the edges. So you have a full tile. Because I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna erase the other edges and then I'm gonna line it in dirt like I've done before in the past. Because it makes life so much easier and better. <clears throat> I 
It doesn't really bother you. You're autistic and sensitive to these noises. I mean, that says something right there. <clears throat> you think if it were more constant instead of it in bursts, it'd be more annoying, but it's not bad. I'm trying not to make it constant. That's me. Because if I just held down the mouse button, it doesn't stop until you let go of the mouse button. I'm intentionally letting go and doing it in small bursts. Um, I have done large areas, like when I did the uh, the Looking Glass Park, we had large areas where I was just holding it down, but I also muted it at that time period. Did I not like your nut comment? I don't know what your nut comment was. Your nuts are sad because you don't play with them enough. <laughs> uh, uh, I had to look up. No. <laughs> like... <laughs> So again, for anyone anyone who's joined who did not hear the comment earlier on, we um, we had a uh, death in the family. Um, one of his ex uncles passed away um, recently, and that's why we ended up like canceling stuff last night and everything. We didn't officially cancel Dabbling with Divinity. Dabbling with Divinity is being done tonight instead. <clears throat> as a reminder, which I keep on forgetting to tell people, we are no longer doing Monday nights as our normal nighttime stream um because Isaac wants to be able to stream on monday nights and usually by the time he is done monday with work he is so burnt out and exhausted that he no longer wants to stream which is why i've done a lot of the monday nights so as a result what we've decided the best option to do is we are going to do streaming on tuesday nights as opposed to monday so it's our first nighttime evening schedule change in probably years um so we will have a regular stream tomorrow, um, of which I believe Isaac will end up doing if we don't do it together. Lately, we've been playing Minecraft a lot together, so we might do that. Um, <clears throat> but for tonight, we are still having Dabbling with Divinity, the makeup stream. I can't believe I can actually fit that there. I don't want to do that, though. It looks awkward. The reason why it looks awkward is I can't edge it. Um, that all looks out of balance and out of sync like that, though. Um, but yeah, um, we will be around. Also, hi, Gamer Girl. We will be around tonight with Dabbling with Divinity, our special, like, different, like, occasional... We had to change things, whatever. <clears throat> but that'll be happening tonight. I don't know what to do here. I kind of feel like I need to do something, but at the same time, like, don't really. You know what I realized what would look better? If I just made it a single tile all the way around. And I didn't want to do that, but I think I'm going to do that. So, um, yeah, so we, we, we found out about the death yesterday when we were playing Minecraft during the stream, and as a result, we ended up stopping the stream very early on. Um, Cherubeth, thank you for the three gifted subs! Wow, to, uh, why did I, to Denzel CM, and to Ark196, thank you for for the gifted subs is really sweet and un, uh, not necessary at all but very uh, very much appreciated very sweet guys enjoy your gifted subs one gift sub <laughs> we're gonna do it like this it's, it looks very awkward but we're doing it like this um but uh no uh we we needed to is it is it more than more than me um even though i definitely knew his uncle, and I'd interacted with him on a number of times during family gatherings. Um, I think it's his, technically it's his great uncle. It's his grandfather's brother who passed away. Um, and this particular uncle was very much present at family gatherings. So I got to know him a bit. And uh, Isaac definitely knew him. Um, he will be very much missed. He was a very sweet individual. Um, but uh, we just needed the Isaac needed me more than anything last night, and he just he just needed me to process. So um, I did what I could to keep him occupied, to keep him from falling into a, an emotional hole as much as possible. I told him not to obviously don't bury down feelings, but at the same time, 
don't dwell heavily on them. And so we basically played Minecraft on our own for hours last night. I was actually getting bored with Minecraft last night, but he really needed it. Um, um, and we did a lot in the game too. Like whatever we end up showing it when we show it, the, the uh, town we were working on is kind of blown up out of proportion now. Um, it's a late Christmas present. Thank you, Cherubeth. It ain't Chris Krimbus anymore. It's technically, it's still Krimbus. If people want it to be Krimbus, it's Krimbus. Um. But yeah, um. So we, I ended up taking the night off because I could tell he needed me. Just to like be there for him because he wasn't sure how to process it um because as i mentioned earlier on the stream but i don't think a lot of people heard at the time it, it he had health issues but he wasn't in the hospital at the time or anything it wasn't expected it, it kind of happened out of nowhere so everyone's kind of like taken by Wonderful. shock by it. cherubin thank you for the two gifted subs to jilly fran and frankly Ernest. guys enjoy your gifted subs what is wrong with you cherubin happy merry crimbus <laughs> Merry delayed Crimbus. <laughs> um, but yeah, you said ho ho twice more. <laughs> it's very sweet, Cheruba. Um, so yeah, we ended up, um, we. Uh, we we just put off the stream just for last night. I didn't want to have to do it, but I could tell he really needed me to. Um, and it turned out I made the right decision because he really needed me to. Um, he just needed to spend time with me to take his mind off of things. Um, that being said, we are processing, as I've mentioned earlier. Um, we are dealing. We will move forward. Um, it'll be sad. It'll be hard. I have no idea what the family's going to do as far as any sort of funeral because I mean I already talked to Isaac and we're not going to a funeral if, even if they have one um, it's it's just it's not worth it um, I don't feel like I definitely need the flowers there but I have flowers over there so I kind of feel like I should put them here a little just a little ew I don't like it it's like kind of on the dirt there. Yeah, his face cam really showed he really needed someone by his side. Yeah. Oh, I forgot he had face cam with him, yeah. Speaking of which, I did check recently. Um, I don't know how I'm going to implement it or when I'll implement it, but Logitech officially has their webcams in stock again at least through their own store i checked online with other stores they're still expensive buying directly from logitech i was able to get the same camera that i wanted initially that isaac uses for the base price um it's already on its way i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do because i need to fix the blinds be behind me before we even consider <laughs> allowing like face cam for me but um Face cam is very much a likely possibility for me, which means the Dilly logo may be going away sooner rather than later. Um, oh shit, it's not what I wanted to do. Why am I not seeing the change? Where did it change? Dear game. It didn't change. Mushroom. It had to have changed somewhere. It didn't. Raspberry03, thank you for the follow. We love you guys, full homo. Let's see. Your tuition's paid, all your bills are paid, you got a stimulus check, so you give Cherubus. And instead of you receiving gifts, you give them. Aw. Thank you, Cherubus. It's really sweet. And I love you guys, full homo, even if I am a whammon. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna. I'm trying to. I honestly, I don't want these as tiles, really. 
That's actually not bad. Um. This? No, it's a shadow. Here. Let me try and... Because water in The Sims is basically clear and only colored based upon the color underneath it. So keeping it blue-ish is the better option, even if I would like to do something more with the sides. Um, because I would love to mimic the side here. I think it would work great, but I'm not going to. Um, let's do here. What the hell? Here, put it there. You don't need that, but... Let's put one here. One there. And a diving board. Why is the diving board having issues with life? Why is the diving board having issues with life? Is it because of... What the fuck? Is it because of the light? Why is it going up? It's fucking weird to me. Can't be placed on a slope. The ground isn't even. Shit. I don't even know if you can even out this ground anymore. Damn it. I mean, I kind of saw this. <clears throat> uh... <clears throat> Your cock still hurts from falling on your ass. I'm sorry. That's the. Are you talking about the tailbone? Fucking is a bitch when you do that. I don't know why. I mean, we could put in a slide, but I don't like the way the slide looks. I want a diving board. There, that might do it. I did see that this was uh, weirdly That's sloped weird. and I didn't expect it. Um, <clears throat> press X to Sarah, to Sarah. Thank you for the follow. Um, press X to Sarah. <laughs> it's an interesting username. <laughs> it's been almost three days. Ow. Yeah, if it's your, you, the tailbone takes forever to heal. If something, if you end up doing something like that, it's like, good luck. It, it sucks. It really sucks. Um, okay, we're gonna end up doing that. Is there a way for me to get, like, a gate around this? I mean, you can put up a chain link fence, but the problem with fences in The Sims is they don't go away like walls. So if you did something like this... Like, to try and fence it off... It would end up looking awkward. Because it, you can't take it down. I mean, I could do this. Be 
because it doesn't go away. So like, you play the game, you're stuck with this fence. <sighs> um, it looks horrible, but at the same time, it's pretty accurate. Woot prison fence. <laughs> well, I'm thinking along the lines of it's supposed to have a fence around it because, you know, look, look at this house. <laughs> this fucking house. It's a prison fence. Oh, it looks hideous. You know what I want to do? I want to change this, this concrete to this. Here's what we'll do. We'll fix up the pool tomorrow or something. That's, I want to get on to the other games because I definitely started late today and I just saw the time. I don't like the game. I, I like the idea of the chain link fence around the pool just because <clears throat> child safety, woo, kind of thing. But at the same time, it looks really wonky. It doesn't fit that house. Um, it doesn't fit the neighborhood, which is one of the reasons why that house looks the way it does. Hedge fence. Um, maybe. Let me see. I don't remember what we have as a hedge fence. Like this guy? Could do this. Um, it's a little better. My my problem is I'm trying to hide it from the road. Like I was all like, let me switch games, and then it was all like Brad just is all like hedge fence, and I'm like, um Here, where's the Redwood Mulch? And go back to dirt. I mean, that does look a bit better. It looks a lot better, actually. Um, I actually hate this part. I kind of want to do that. It does look a bit more closed off. And it does look better. And I don't feel like I have to change much of anything. Might actually be able to keep it without changing the stone. Um, hold on. So, light dirt. Fucking hell, my game. I hate when it moves the around. His walking path. I 
I need some garden stuff underneath here. Like, even it's very basic, but I definitely need some stuff under there. <laughs> Shrubs? It's not exactly getting enough light for that. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll figure out the garden at a later date, but this looks a lot better. Uh, can I get rid of the grid? No. It looks a little walked on. It actually feels more complete than it did. A lot more. Um, 